morning children today we are going to start a new chapter and the name of the chapter is tens and hundreds now children this chapter is very important because it is going to teach us about numbers which we have been using earlier also but we have not paid attention to them numbers like 23.4 2.7 4.9 these numbers where we are using this point these numbers are called decimal numbers and actually children these decimal numbers are other names for fractional numbers or mixed numbers how we are going to learn in this in these series of videos for example we have been measuring lengths with the help of a scale now 1 cm is equally divided into 10 equal parts and each part is called 1 mm if a line segment is more than 10 cm but less than 11 cm and if it is 10 cm 4 mm then how do you say you say it is 10.4 mm so we are going to learn more about these and you know what i have made some blue strips which we are going to measure and see for ourselves come let's see look at this blue strip I have kept it along the scale with zero at its one end. Let us see its length: one, two, three, four centimeter full, and four divisions ahead of four centimeter. It means the length of the strip is four centimeter, four millimeter. So we write it as four point four centimeter. look at this strip the length of this strip we have to see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8, 8 cm full this is 5 mm 6 7 mm so this strip is 8 cm and 7 mm long and we write it as 8.7 centimeter because it is seven divisions ahead of 8 cm now look at this strip let us see how long it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 cm centimeters complete and five divisions ahead of 9 cm so 9 cm 5 mm which is equal to 9.5 cm now look at this strip let us see how long it is starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 and six divisions ahead of 12 so this strip is 12 cm and 6 mm long and how we are going to write it we will write it as 12.6 cm so children just now you saw how we measured different strips every cm has been divided into 10 equal parts and each small part is called 1 mm so 1 mm is 1 out of the 10 equal parts of a centimeter that is 1 upon 10 of a centimeter which is also known as 0.1 centimeter and that is the reason we were measuring our strip strips as 4.7 centimeter 12.3 centimeter and so on come children with the help of my screen i am going to explain it to you further
tens and hundreds. This is the name of our new chapter. Look at this centimeter scale. One centimeter has been divided into ten equal parts and every equal part is called a millimeter so one centimeter is equal to 10 millimeter so children one millimeter is actually one out of the 10 equal parts of a centimeter. So this is also called as 0 0.1 centimeter. This is a fraction and this is the decimal for this fraction. Both are the same. So 1 upon 10 is also called as 0 0.1. 7 millimeter are seven parts out of the ten equal parts of a centimeter or seven millimeter is also called as zero point seven centimeter. If I draw a line like this, The length of this pink line is 1 centimeter and 7 millimeter. So it is also written as 1.7 centimeter. So this line this line is more than one centimeter and less than two centimeter. So children, 1.7 centimeter is more than 1 centimeter and it is less than 2 centimeter. So, in 1.7, this point is also called a decimal. The number which is written to the left of the decimal is the whole number part and the number which is written to the right hand side of the decimal is the fractional part. So children, look at this line. The length of this line is 2 centimeter or we can write it as 2.0 centimeter 
because it is exactly 2 cm and there are no extra millimeters in this. So we can write it as 2.0 cm. If there is a number 234.7 then children 4 is at 1's place 3 is at 10's place and 2 is at 100's place. Now 7 which is to the right of the decimal it is at 10th place. This place which is to the right of the decimal is called the 10th place. If we have to expand 234, we write it as 200 plus 30 plus 4. What we did, we multiplied 4 by 1, we multiplied 3 by 10 and we multiplied 2 by 100. If we have to expand 234.7, we will write down 200 plus 30 plus 4 plus 7 upon 10. What we did is we multiplied 7 by 1 upon 10. Why we multiplied it by 1 upon 10? Because it is at the 10th place. So children, decimal numbers are an integral part of our day-to-day -day life. You must have heard while listening to the weather that the maximum temperature today was 24.5 degree Celsius. It means this temperature is more than 24 degree Celsius and it is less than 25 degree Celsius. So we need to understand the decimals very well. This was the introduction. We will study about the decimals in details in our subsequent videos. That's all for today children. Thank you and have a nice day.